Alright everybody, Louise here. We are, well, that is Scenic Drive and we are going to take the nature trail. So, so Scenic Drive, the road that runs through here from Titarangi out all the way along. Oh, where does it end up? It ends up somewhere near Henderson. But we are going to be walking underneath it and discovering some of our New Zealand nature as we go. There's a photo taken and when it opened in 1930. Wow. Since then nature's been busy restoring itself and we're going to see what can happen in a few hundred years or even a few years. So we're walking down a nice, nice pathway here. You can see all the lovely ferns and trees, all the beauty right beside us. start here with a tunnel. So the tunnel obviously goes under Scenic Drive. And it was opened in 2005. And these are all decorated by the local school children, Oratia Primary School. Quite a nice entrance to our nature trail. to different schools in the area, Swanson Primary School, Henderson Valley Primary, Bruce McLaren Intermediate, Western Heights, Belmont, that's a little bit far away, we can't miss any of them out, we've got Colville, wow that's the Colville, Colville. Royal Road, St Francis Primary, Woodlands Park and Point Chevalier Primary School. So everybody's contributed to this. Makes the underpass really attractive. Let's go though, let's go. Nature Trail coming up. We've had a lot of rain recently, so it's a good time to be looking at the at the track because we are in the middle of the Waitakere Ranges, which are a rainforest. So to enter the enter the trail, we need to go through a little barricade here. Oh, oh, don't be put off, because this is protecting the the land or the trees, the kauri trees in particular, from the dieback disease. So first of all, you need to brush your feet. That's easy. <laughs> Isn't <it> easy? <laughs> brushing, brushing feet. And then you stand on this. Disinfectant. So you brush, you inspect, and you disinfect. So it's a harmless disinfectant, but it will kill any any viruses or pores that you're taking in that would infect the trees. Let's go. And here the cicadas. They're shedding their skins or their shells at the moment. And it sort of indicates that summer is coming to an end for us here in New Zealand. Aha, uh -huh. silver fern, the symbol of New Zealand, green on one side, silver on the other. So I just did a live broadcast from which took in beautiful views and we walked outside the Arataki visitor centre and I was just walking across the car park to the entrance to the nature trail and I lost the signal. So this is a recording. I hope you enjoy it. I don't need to add any music do I? <laughs> First sign that you're looking for a silver fern is stalk is silver. 
that's a good idea. And then you turn it over, silver underneath. If you were, were trekking or hiking, you could leave a little bit of this on the ground. It would indicate the shape of an arrow, it would indicate the direction you were going in. So if you happen to get lost, somebody would know where to look for you. Or if you were in the old days, if you were part of a war party, a warrior would be looking for these arrows on the ground. And of course the moon shining on them at night makes them bright silver, beautifully illuminated. Every shade of green in the New Zealand forest. Oh, we have a little forry here. Small house, a little rest area. We can choose here. The nature trail, nature trail, or the plant ID loop. Let's try the plant ID loop. Oh, we can't go that way. So part of the Waitakere Ranges is closed off because of the Kauri dieback disease. So, we're going to follow the loop. Ah, our first identification is here. <laughs> Parari. Good, they have little signs everywhere pointing out what we're looking at. A little bit of replanting. Some of the originals. And go palm up here. As you can see, nature is just left to do its thing. Nobody comes in here to tidy up. Walking underneath the ferns, beautiful. There's the trunk of a, an old tree here covered in moss. It's summertime, so you can imagine in winter how this is. Beautiful. Mm, there's another ID. We have 140 different ferns in New Zealand. You can see this one, just growing it's like a little ground cover. Here we have a Pukatea. Ooh, wait until you see the Pukatea. <laughs> Christ, tall and straight. Look at this. Tall and straight. Whoa. There's actually three layers in the New Zealand forest. 
So we have all the all the trees that go grow close to the ground. Smaller ferns. All the ground covers, smaller plants. Then we go up to the uh, middle-sized trees, like um, what would be middle-sized? Probably kofi, puriri. No, puriri I think might be large. Uh, the silver ferns, ponga, uh, mamaku. This is the next layer. And then we go up to the giants of the forest. The giants of the forest are the kauri and the kahikatea. This one here, Tikolka or cabbage tree, would be the middle layer. Hmm. Oh, here's somebody walking towards us. <laughs> We're not alone. <laughs> we are not alone. Here we go. Hohiri. Hohiri. disappeared. <laughs> ah, yes, lots of lovely, lots and lots of lovely signs helping to identify the toro. They have small ones and bigger ones. Yeah. Right, here he comes. It looks like he might be working. <laughs> Kia ora! <laughs> oh no, don't worry about your mask. We're good. We're good. I'm Steve Knox. I live at 260 Phoenix. Oh, you live at 2... Okay, yeah. So I'm just doing a little video showing all the oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful nature, isn't it? Oh, it's yeah. manic. And, that, yeah. and you know, my place just turns into the bush. Yeah, I'm oh, so my, my house looks like uh, Gordon's nursery. Oh, but lovely. There's, there's, there's a method in it, though. Like, I cannot, but I'm slowly spinning it out again. Uh-huh. Nice. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, we've got somebody else walking to it. Oh, we're having a party. Yeah. There's three of us on the track. Yeah. Nice. Hey, and I can't find my cell phone, my wallet, oh. my car keys, my house keys. Oh. I'll find them. You'll, you will. Yeah, yeah they'll be there somewhere the, waiting yeah, for you. Yeah. It's like the bush. I've got to pin it out again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Morning. Kia ora. Oh, yeah. oh, that's a good bag. <laughs> I've got to get one of these. I was in the military with Ashley. Oh, okay. And um, I was recon. Uh-huh. So I've got all my old kit. Yeah. Yeah, that one, uh, go left with the plant trail, and if you want to go to Parker Road, that's the shortcut. Parker Road. Yeah, but it, just go left if you're just doing the trail. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep walking too. Nice, nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. I hope you find all those lost things. Oh, well, you I know will. They're, at home. they're home somewhere. Yeah, they're yeah. in a they're in a pocket, or you've put them but, down. Oh, I've got, I've got cancer and diabetes. Oh no! Oh well, I hope that's all going to be but work out okay. But not because of. Unfit is because I had the cancer. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 But yeah. I'd never give in to it, uh, Yeah, no, don't give in. Don't no, give in. Ex military, I never give in. Ex military, yeah, good. Just <laughs> keep walking, keep walking. We'll, we'll follow him. <laughs> no, you never know who you're going to meet in the bush. We're still talking to us. <laughs> ah, Mokoro. Mo Koro, sorry, Mo Koro, Koro, keep going so close. Oh, okay. <laughs> mingy, 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 mingy here. <laughs> oh, what have we got? Oh, Kanuka, similar to Manuka. Kanuka. So, yep, Kanuka is bigger than Manuka. This is a beautiful Manuka, the bark. Oh, Kanuka, sorry, the bark. It's really gorgeous. You can always, always um, get Kanuka honey as well. It's really delicious. Just as good as Manuka. <laughs> We're really in the middle of it now. <laughs> Rata. Ah, we saw the rata flower on the live that I did. 
you saw the beautiful red of the rata flower. Lovely, lovely, lovely. The noises, oh, here's a totara. The noise is getting bigger and louder and louder. Totara here. I hope this is enjoyable, not boring. For me, this is just perfect walking in nature. <laughs> rewa, rewa. This is nice honey as well. Rewa, rewa. Wherever you go, look. Nature offers us this amazing, amazing gallery. We don't need things hanging on walls. It's just beautiful to walk through and enjoy. It's a symphony, the symphony of nature, a visual de delight. Kofi. Kofi has a beautiful yellow flower. Not at the moment because it flowers in spring and Kofi means yellow. So the tree is named after the beautiful, bright, vibrant yellow that the birds absolutely love the nectar of the Kofi. I think we've lost our friend. <laughs> Ponga, the silver fern. Here we go. Grows to 10 metres, our national emblem. There it is. It's a fine example, too. Look at this. Beautiful. Keep on with this walk. We must be coming to the end of this. Aki Aki, I love Aki Aki. There we go, Aki Aki. What I would love to find is a Horoweka. Look at that silver fern there. I'd love to find a Horoweka. Horoweka are gorgeous, they're known as Lancewood. And it's so interesting the way they grow. I'm going to look for one. And then suddenly they change. So they grow with sort of Karaka, Kauri, Hopara. Yeah, this. Mm, Tanikaha, Kawaka. Whee! Puriri. Where's, oh, our Puriri's big. Here he is up here. Puriri, way up there. Ah, there's a Horoweka right there. Ah, good. This is what it eventually looks like, those green leaves up there. But when it starts to grow, it is just the trunk and... It has leaves that come off off the trunk, just like spikes. Um, during a long juvenile stage, the thick serrated leaves may be up to a metre long. As the tree matures, the leaves broaden and shorten. Yes. So it has... Ah, oh, here's... here's the, this is dead because it's fallen off. But these, when it's young, these just grow out like that. And then as it grows up and matures, it forms like a top knot. You see, there's the top knot there. Just beyond that fern. Yeah, it forms a top knot. Lovely, beautiful. There's a lovely selection of plants in here, really lovely. Anyway, let's get on with the walk. <laughs> I'm holding you all up. Hadi mai, hadi mai, get a move on. Get a move on. Oh, I think we've finished. I think we're back. Whoa, the Rimu. Nice Rimu tree here. 
So Rimu have very, very sh um, hard, sharp leaves on the branch. Oh, here's one a little bit closer. But Rimu were used a lot for furniture, tables, chairs, all sorts of old sideboards, old um, cabinets. There's a mirror on this side. Oh, this has been a lovely, pleasant walk. I actually can't... Oh, there's the mirror. There it is. And so, we've just come to the end here. Whee! Thanks very much for walking with me, enjoying it. It was fabulous. We've done the plant ID loop. <laughs> ah, we're going back this way, aren't we? Here's the little forry where we ca we walk down. Yes, let's just walk back over here. So, oh, there are a couple of dogs coming towards us now. <laughs> Off for their morning walk. Morning, kia ora. Hi, boys. Hello. <laughs> You've got a great place to walk, haven't you? Woo! And playful. <laughs> Have a nice morning. There we go. So, right at the finish there. Good. Bumped into a few people. A couple of dogs on leads, of course. You cannot bring an animal into the park unless it's on a lead. Oh, nice. We've just finished looking down here into the into the plant ID walk and the nature trail. So thanks very much for joining me, everybody. I know when you watch this later, we're not live, but hey, next best thing when there's no signal. Thank you so much. So kia ora and ka kete anō. We'll finish just the way we usually do. Have a fabulous day. Thank you. Bye for now.